Howdy. This is uh, Let's Play Isle to Sturmovic with me, Telmange. That's T A I L M A N G E. Mange. Today we're going out to hunt the Russian Merman Barn. The Russian railroad, railroad is moving supplies south via Murmansk is a vital element of the Russian supply line. As such, it is a primary target for the Lutwaffe in the High North. Proceed to the scheduled attack waypoints and attack any train you come across. Any targets related to the railroad are to be treated as secondary targets. Good hunting! Yes, so JU88 is over Murmansk, which I forgot to mention. Mission 3, um, and we're hunting trains in this area over here. And there's no real set way, um, bombing point. There's several targets of opportunity, apparently. Uh, train equipment there. Something's wrong with this cursor and these icons. I don't quite know what it is. Uh, don't know. Anyway. Today we've got some uh, different bombs on board. We have 28 small bombs. Um, and then two larger bombs. So that should be interesting. Um, I guess we dive bomb with the large bombs and then maybe do a bit of low altitude level bombing with the smaller ones, maybe. Um, and I think with the small ones you just have to press the bomb release button and it drops loads of them, loads of them at the same time. I think. I hope. Let's change the bomb delay here to... not 50 seconds, 5 se Well... Uh, I don't know if this actually works or not. I'll put the markings on as well. Um, three seconds sounds good. Three, three seconds should be enough time to get away. Um, and fuel quantity we can change as well. Let's change that. We don't need 100%. Let's go for 60. That should be enough. Hopefully you don't get a leak. Alright, so let's go shoot. No, you can't shoot. Bomb! Bomb some trains. Let's bomb some trains. I'll see you in the plane. Oh. Alright. Here we are once again. Start up the first engine. Let's see who we've got with us. We've got two compadres today. Um, to go attack these... Uh, mother shunting trains. Uh, to get a map up. And once again, we've got quite a long ways to go. This might be the furthest we've actually gone, actually, because this is just south of Murmansk. This is a long journey we've got. We need to go down here, and then... Zoom in a bit. We go this way, up the railroad up here. This, is orange, this orange line is the railroad. Follow the railroad looking for targets. If you can't find anything there, we can always try and attack this thing. Uh, yeah, so let's get underway flaps to, to, um, to take off and engage the throttle. Hundred and ten percent. We're giving it a hundred and hundred and ten percent right now. The tail is uh, lifting up off the ground. And it's time to pull up. Off we go. Here up. Alright. We just need to turn right a little bit. about 70 degrees flaps to combat I think we can raise flaps now and turn the power down to 90 Prop pitch down to 90, and it's time to climb. OK, 
Okay. I wonder what we're going to be facing. Will there be more fighters? I would guess there would be a, at least one or two. Because this is a um, an early war campaign, with uh, just during Operation Barbarossa, which was the initial invasion of the Soviet Union by Nazi Germany, um, there wouldn't be that much opposition, I would have thought, from Soviet aircraft, because the Luftwaffe uh, pretty much destroyed a lot of the, um, if not most, of the um, Soviet air force on the first few days of the, of the campaign, mainly on the ground. Um, so to begin with, it's pretty easy for the German army, the Wehrmacht and the Luftwaffe, They got. They took the Soviet Union completely by surprise. The Soviet Union was um, the army anyway, and most of the armed forces in the Soviet Union had been purged by Stalin in the previous years. So a lot of the capable officers, and generals, and things like that have been disgraced, or executed, or sent to a gulag, usually on um, false pretexts, just because of um, Stalin's. Manic paranoia, um, which was a very, very large contributing factor to the very poor performance of the Soviet armed forces during the initial invasion, or so I have read. All right, so we're on our way, climbing, climbing, almost a thousand meters, and it is a long way to go. So. Um, once again, it's time to skip to the action, and I shall see you um, in one or two seconds. Okay, um, we're back, and after quite a long flight, we are now coming up to our waypoint. We're a bit off course, but that's okay. Um, we're just coming up to Mashi, which has an airfield, which is a bit worrying. Um, I can't see any enemy planes, but so uh, we should just be crossing this big river now, and then we need to turn directly east and start looking for these choo choos. I best um, set up my uh, bomb sight first of all. We'll do bomb sight bombing at altitude 800 meters. Sounds good. Okay, time to turn eastwards. <gasps> is, that, is that a bridge? Or oh, it is a bridge. I thought it was a massive train, but no, it's a bridge. Alright, so let's try and locate this railway line. I've been working on the railroad and a live long day. Do we have what do we have? Oh, actually, this is the bomb run. We're not coming up to the railroad yet. Whoops, I got confused. Okay, something seems to be wrong with my rudder here. You can see that little black object moving off to the right there. That means my rudder isn't in trim, I believe. So I need to trim that up a little bit so I don't go off course. So the airfield should just be below us and to our left. Yep, there it is. Don't see any planes, which is good. Uh, okay, just need to keep our eyes out for this railroad. Try and keep on a 90 degree heading. Um, it's been quite hard um, climbing up to altitude actually. I think because of the, the large amount of bombs you've got on board. And maybe I'm thinking now possibly that taking only 6% fuel may have been a mistake because um, we've got quite a ways to go to get home um, and less than half 
our fuel according to that, so we'll have to see how that goes. How are we doing on the course? Drifting off course a little bit. Still no enemies to speak of. But they may turn up after we've done our bombing. Or while we're looking for the trains, which would be unfortunate. Aha! That could be a railroad or a railway. Looks like there's kind of a, a traffic road and then the actual railway running parallel to it. Yeah, this is going to be it. So we need to follow this. See if we can spot any trains. Oh god, what's that? There's a shadow down there. I saw a plane, a shadow of a plane moving northwards. I don't see any fighters. I think since I'm the flight leader, it won't actually give me any notification if my squadron mate spots any fighters either. So I've got to try and keep a lookout here. Um, the railroad's turning north, so we're going to follow that. Or north uh, westwards. There's a bridge there. Make sure we don't lose too much. Aha, what's that? I can see anti aircraft fire coming from something down there. And somebody's bombing. Was that my. Oh! Oh, that's what it is. My colleagues have decided to just fly off by themselves and bomb all the trains. Okay. Well, fair enough. I didn't order you to do that, but. Um... Okay. actually hit very much though. Let's see if we can uh, do a bit of dive bombing. Where is it? I think it's right below me and to my left. Yeah, just so it doesn't flash. So in a few seconds we're going to roll over and start the dive bombing. Procedure. No fighters around. Alright, let's do it. Air brake extended. Let's hope I can spot this train. There it is. Okay, so we're using the two big bombs for this. Then we'll use the smaller bombs later. I'm going to try and aim ahead a bit. Alright, alright, bombs away. Did we get it? Did we get it? Ah! We missed completely. Damn it. Okay. So that means we only have the uh, the smaller bombs to to use now. Let's try ordering my uh, Schwarm to attack the train again. See what happens. Attack the train. Don't know if there's any bombs left. That's the problem. But uh, we'll soon see. So we're going to do some up close and personal leveling bomb level bombing here. Turn the prop pitch and uh, throttle down as we dive in. Bomb bay doors open. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Dropping bombs. Uh, 
Hmm. Only one appears to have exploded. And it missed. I'm confused. Okay. Uh, I thought I had 20 of those little ones. There's still some left in there. I did press the bomb release button several times, so it should have uh, should have dropped several, but uh, obviously not. Okay. Well, let's try again. Obviously we have no cannons or uh, machine guns to try and attack this thing. Coming in, coming in. Okay, I dropped one then. Nothing. What is happening? Why isn't anything exploding? I'm very confused. Maybe I dropped it too low? I don't know. Again, one doors are still open. Try jumping from a, uh, a bit higher this time and see if that makes any difference. So try and keep in line with this road. The problem with this is it's very inaccurate. All right, there they go. Although they're probably going to miss completely. Bad. Ah. This is frustrating. Okay, well, I'm going to try a kind of more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful, careful. It's a bit too aggressive in my turn there. I'm going to try a kind of more primitive form of dive bombing, I guess. Now let's get some altitude and try diving on it. See if that works. There's something else down there as well. I don't know what that is. Maybe trucks or something. Try to get to about a thousand meters. Oops, wrong button. Engine overheating. Oh, and I'm stalling as well. Christ, 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 Christ. Oh God, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. It's lost all the altitude. Where's that train gone? This is trickier than I thought it was going to be. I've 
Got no idea if this is uh, high enough to dive bomb from, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. Jesus Christ. Does dive bombing even work with the Bombay? I don't know that either, but we shall see. So we've got 500 meters when we need to release the bombs. Need to try and aim ahead of this thing because it's obviously moving. All right, I just dropped a load there, so. Oh, okay. There we go. I got one train car. Ah, now my nose gunner is bleeding. Ah. Stay alive, nose gunner. Did I retract? No, I didn't. I forgot to track the air brake. Great. All right, so um, the positive thing now is that um, this little bomber is not moving because I knocked out one of the cars. So it's now immobile. I've got no idea how many bombs I have left. Probably none. Uh, let's try. This is kind of a, a stupid thing to do. See if you can hear the sound of any bombs dropping. Ah, my God, I've been hit. No, out of ammo, out of ammo. Okay, let's go. Great, so he destroyed one train car. Oh, fuck up. Oh, no, we're gonna, no! Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I was gonna name all the crew. Well, I'm glad I didn't now, because one of them's dead. <sighs> Fucking hell. I don't even know where my, my friends have gone, either. Brilliant. All right, time to head home, I guess. That was a fail. Ow! Look at the rest! My well, controls are very sluggish now as well, so he must have gotten some damage to uh, a wing. Well, I guess we um, slowed it down. That's one thing. Uh. I don't quite understand why the the um, the first few bombs I dropped didn't really go off. Or maybe I just missed that bit. Probably have turned the delay down a bit as well since that would have helped. Oh well, you live and learn. So now it's time to try and uh, get my wounded plane back home. You can see the guy in the back there slumped over dead. We'll call him, uh, we'll close the bomb, board, bomb bay doors. We'll call the dead guy. Um, Goering. So that way we won't miss him. Alright, so time to head home. Try and explain our failure to uh, my Obersturm Gruppenfuhrer, or whatever the hell he's called. Okay, yeah, all right, so I'm gonna head, head, head home. Um, unless I get intercepted by any fighters or anything, um, I guess I'll come back when it's time to land. Oh, one thing um, I just noticed is this. 
which is one of my poor colleagues who's apparently run out of fuel maybe looks like it's probably a fuel leak and he's now had to ditch in the middle of nowhere probably behind enemy lines um, so yeah sorry guys it's the gulag for you in fact I think it's just uh, yeah there he is Bye. All right. Yep. So that's that. So I'll uh, be back in uh, a moment. Okay. So I'm almost at the uh, the airfield again. Uh, just correcting course a little bit. We do seem to have, um, as I thought, a little problem with the fuel. Um, so. I need to remember not to take so little fuel next time because it's quite a long way to Murmansk from where we're based. I didn't really factor that in. We're all almost out. But then again, we are coming up on the airfield, so hopefully we might be able to land before anything nasty happens. I'm going to tell my guys to um, return to base. Request a landing. I've reduced the throttle and propage all the way down to very low levels to try and preserve the fuel. Um, not sure if it works though. So we're basically just trying to limp home at this point. on fumes. Let's try and spot the airfield. Should be just after this series of uh, lakes after the city here. That's it, just right there. Great, okay. We might be able to make this. It's a nice big airstrip as well, which is good. Okay, let's reduce power. Try and uh, burn off some speed. The sun is now uh, setting as well, which is nice. Um, I didn't know what time we took off, but it must have been late afternoon. All right, gear down. Going too fast at the minute for to lower the flaps. We can now. Not to stall, Need to gently come down. Easy. Land, 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 land. And there we go. Ooh. Well, that was close. The 
this is our airfield, yes it is, good. Alright, let's taxi off. Engines off. And there we go. Time to remove the body from the pack and uh, get the nose gunner patched up. And next time I must remember to try and name the crew. Must remember. I probably won't, but I must. Alright, that's that. Let's see what else is going on, if anything. I don't think there are any enemy fighters around. No, no, no enemy fighters. That's me. That's my squadron mate who's still flying. And that's the guy who's stranded in the middle of Soviet Russia. They're all still alive though, it looks like. But probably not for much longer, knowing the um, the Soviet method of taking care of prisoners of war. Okay, great. Quit mission. Enemy ground kills are now three. We destroyed one train thing. Could have got a lot more, but we failed, so we only got the one. Um, so that's that. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode.